Hi, beauties and curls. We are back with another video. So I did do a products I regret buying hair edition. So make sure you check that out, y'all. Y'all know the infamous YSL box. Yeah, this is what I fill up and let y'all know what I don't like. I kind of have a graveyard over here, so let's just jump right in. And let me just say the disclaimer that everybody says. It might make you slay all day, but over on this side, I didn't slay. <laughs> I didn't. So, yeah. If it didn't work for me, doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. If it works for you, doesn't mean it's going to work for me. We're two different people, but hey, some things we're going to have in common. Let's agree to this agree. Oh, girl. Let's get so it. So the first thing that doesn't work for me, let's talk about this. This is the Lancome. Lancome. This is the Juicy Shaker in Boomerang. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all, this did not work for me because it just, it, though, it applies beautiful, it applies beautifully and you get that wash of color. Yes, I love that. I love that it feels so moisturizing. Yes, love that. But, 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 but. In a few minutes, my lips just go, and it sucks the dry. It's just dry, just dryness. I don't know, no moisture. And for it to say juicy shaker, I was thinking, y'all know I'm a gloss girl, so I was thinking that it was gonna make them juicy. Yes, juicy fruit over here, but it just dries my, it, it dries my lips out. But, but we have hope. Let me tell y'all something. I showed you on Instagram the matte shakers. I love the matte shakers. Yes. That means that just because this didn't work for you, if this didn't work for you, try the matte shakers. They are a wash of color. It's almost like a lip stain, but better. And it is great if you are on the go. The Juicy Shakers with such a genius Lancome, I have to give it to you. It's so innovative. The packaging is stellar. I love it because let me tell you something. The high schooler all the way up to the grown woman. Okay, grown folks. You know what I'm saying? It's going to love this product. However, this did not work for me and I wanted it to work. I tried it. I got a... Uh, I got this from out of a Sephora like favorites box and I was so excited to get this and it gives me that but no then it dries out my lips so I, I think the oil just evaporates I don't know it just the oil I don't know it's just a dry oil that maybe that's how it, I can say it but anyway I talked about this product too much I love the matte shakers but the juicy shakers no no matter. okay so this is another product this is this this is from mac this is the mineralized foundation in nc42 yeah let me show you what happened see what happened was first of all okay did not like that that happened but this applies like i don't know i on my my skin did not like it it just sat on top of the skin it was just like i'm not going anywhere it protests it boycotted my pores okay and my skin it just sat on top of the skin it didn't want to take it wanted to reject it wanted to be rebellious and i must cast it out yes so it did not work for me but thank the lord for back to max so i am gonna get something out of this it was just it just did not sit you know and the, the great thing about mac is that they have different formulas the uh water weight foundation works for me i love the water weight foundation this is probably only the current only current foundation that i have from mac but i have tried the studio uh, the studio fix and i love that and um no this mineralized foundation did not work for me i even like the mineralized skin finish that works for me but not the mineralized foundation no the cream foundation no okay. more. another product the tame and frame by nyx i love this but it dried out so quickly y'all there's no even there's no chance of me even putting duraline in there okay this is like the great, the positive thing is that it's so inexpensive and it's such a great product. The product is so amazing, but I didn't do the trick of like when you have to tight, tightly close this. And I don't know, I think something is wrong. Maybe this is a defective one. So I'm definitely willing to try another one, but, um, as you can tell, it doesn't close. You can still hear it. So it doesn't like these things need to be sealed very very tightly this is in the shade black noir tf 
BP05. So it just, that means tame and frame brow pomade. Yeah. And I love this, but it just dried out so quickly. So I regret purchasing it. I'm willing to try another one though, because I just feel like maybe the lid was de defective. But anyway, next one. This is the Pixie by Petra Shea Butter Lip Balm. Y'all, this felt so moisturizing, but only in the beginning. I didn't understand that. I've never had that happen to me before, especially with a lip balm. When you think lip balm is gonna be moisturizing, it's gonna be nourishing. Um, this is a beautiful shade. Um, I don't even know what the shade is. It doesn't say what shade it is on here. Oh, honey nectar, it does. I'm sorry. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, but it's not nourishing. Um, maybe it's, if you want to wash up lipstick, it's more of a lipstick than a lip balm. I just felt like that it was a bit misleading just because it wasn't as moisturizing as a lip balm. I felt like it's a wash of color. But I thought I could use this by itself, but I think I need a lip balm under it because it's not, it, it feels creamy and everything, but it does not give any moisturization to my lips. So I do regret buying it. Another item, this is the Tarte. Uh, this is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. Now, they did come out with more shades. So the only reason why I regret buying this, and this is still good. I'm gonna pass this on to my sister. It did not dry out. I've had this for a while, but it's still good. It's brow pomade, okay? But this was a bit too warm for my brows. Thank the Lord, they do have darker shades. This was too warm. I need something a little bit more ashy, uh, more gray in my brows. This one was a little bit more chocolatey red. You would love medium brown if you like the chocolate of the chocolates of the I know I just came up with a word <laughs> if you like chocolate uh, brows or the shade chocolate then you will love the medium brown because this was very smooth it's not as stark and harsh as the pomade from Anastasia I love that but you know you have to have a light light hand you don't have to be this one is kind of like brows for brows for people who are not as experienced in using a pomade I really do love this but it was still a little bit too red so um yeah I, I'm glad that they have more more shades since I've purchased this I think it's five now it used to be three so this was used to be the darkest shade so yes I regret buying it because I just didn't wait for darker shades to come out so it's my fault. It's me. It's me, Dark. It's me. Okay, another product I regret buying. This is the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. I thought it was going to be like the Carbon Black. It is not at all. I thought it was going to be like it. This just did not do anything for my lashes. Like they made them like dry and hard rather than um, like elongating the, like the, you know, the Carbon Black, the Telescopic. This is a different obviously it's a different formula because it's a different mascara in the telescopic brand or line but I was totally disappointed in this just because I thought that this one's just gonna be bomb and I'll just go back to my carbon black telescopic I'm just saying but this did not work for me so I do regret buying because you know L'Oreal mascaras are not cheap and they're coming up on mascaras again up there in terms of price in the drugstore I'm just saying yeah so I regret okay. buying. Last product that I regret of buying. This is the balm. This is the eye makeup breakup. This is yeah. This is kind of like a pomade, y'all, and it's a bit nasty because number one, okay, so there's a couple of reasons why I don't like this. Number one, it's in a pan, not the best in sanitation. Okay. The other thing that I don't like about this is extremely messy on your eyes. You feel like you just took gloops of Vaseline and just moved it around your eyes and yeah. I mean, I it does the job. It conditions your eyes. Um, I just regret buying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this products I regret buying makeup edition. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. Let me know what you guys have been regretful in buying. So let me know a product that you dislike or something that you regret buying. I know there are tons of stuff that we try that we don't like, but let me know also something that you have shocked that you actually really, really love. So yeah, I would love to hear that. I love trying new products. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys there and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye loveys.